there is no such thing as race. None. Really? There's just a human race, scientifically, mm -hmm. anthropologically. Racism is a construct, mm -hmm. a social construct, and it has benefits. It has uh, money can be made off of it, and people who don't like themselves can feel better because of it. It can describe certain kinds of behavior that are wrong or misleading. So it has a social function, racism. But race can only be defined as a human being. If the racist white person, I don't mean the person who is examining his consciousness and so on, doesn't understand that he or she is also a race, it's also constructed, it's also made, and it also has some kind of serviceability. But when you take it away, I take your race away, and there you are, all strung out, and all you got is your little self. And what is that? What are you without racism? Are you any good? Are you still strong? Are you still smart? Are you still like yourself? If you can only be tall because somebody's on their knees, then you have a serious problem. And my feeling is white people have a very, very serious problem. And they should start thinking about what they can do about it. Take me out of it. You don't think you will ever change and write books that incorporate white, white lives into them substantially? I have done. Mm. In, In a substantial paradise. way. You can't understand how powerfully racist that question is, can you? Because you could never ask a white author, when are you going to write about black people? Whether he did or not, or she did or not. Mm. Even the inquiry comes from a position of being in the center. And being used to being in the center. And being used to being in the center. Mm. ancestral energies, heals the torn ancestral soul, and reveals the beauty, vigor, pathos, and durability of African-American life and culture.